Hey, Gadget Groupies, Huawei is taking the wraps off some sexy new hardware, so let's dig into the details. Starting off with a pair of new Android tablets, the MediaPad M5s will come in two form factors, but will feature mostly similar hardware between those two sizes. A few major differentiators, one of them screen size, 8.4 inches versus 10.8 inches on the diagonal. The larger tablet will come with pogo pins for a foldable keyboard case, quad speakers on the bigger tablet versus stereo speakers on the smaller, and most importantly, that larger MediaPad supporting and including a stylus utilizing a Wacom digitizer. Otherwise, we've got some formidable hardware for running Android, which is nice to see some premium options in this space where tablet pickings have been kind of slim of late. But the real sexy for this product announcement was Huawei taking the wraps off of the new MateBook X Pro. Running a lean Windows 10 Signature Edition free of bloatware, this all-aluminum shell is attempting to fight ZenBooks and MacBooks on their own turf. Super slim laptops with high-resolution screens, killer features, and powerful internals. Boasting a 91% screen-to-body ratio, Huawei is claiming this is the thinnest bezel ever fitted onto a laptop in this class. Of course, to achieve this ultra-thin bezel, they totally had to cut a unibrow into the top of the display for that webcam because we're all totally cool with notches wrecking our displays. I'm totally joking. They, of course, did not do that. Notches are terrible. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. No, this thing still does have a webcam, but Huawei's research showed that webcam usage wasn't as mission critical as having a super nice display. So on the new Matebooks, this webcam is actually hidden under a pop-up function key on the keyboard, a really cool, techy James Bond-style hidden webcam. That James Bond reference I totally stole from one Mr. Chris Davies. Let's just run down the specs list right quick. Full-sized chiclet keyboard, U-series 8th generation Intel Core i5 and i7 chipsets, 256 gigabyte and 512 gig solid-state drive options, Dolby, Atmos, quad speakers, a discrete NVIDIA GPU with support for external GPUs over Thunderbolt, quad microphone array with Cortana support up to six meters away from the laptop, and a battery which should support up to 12 hours of HD video with quick charging. Yowza. Okay, it's time for a little straight talk, especially my first impressions going hands-on with this gear. The tablets were really cool to play with, though there were some interesting design choices, especially leveraging EMUI. That's Huawei's custom software skin that runs on top of Android. It is a little different than what they're doing with phones, and it somewhat morphs Android into a more laptop-style UI. Definitely going to be a personal preference for folks out there what they value you in a larger screen but portable Android experience. But with the right combination of apps and services, I think you could make a good faith argument that these products could help you keep your laptop at home. And even though the tablet space has been pretty quiet of late, even iPad sales are on the decline, I'm personally really happy to see a nice high quality, this is a premium option in this space, especially for how well accessorized that larger media pad is. That said, it was difficult drumming up the same level of gadget excitement for a tablet when we were sitting right next to some ultra sexy laptop hardware. This new Matebook looks like it could be an absolutely brutal competitor in this space. And there's just such wonderful attention to all of those small little design details like that pop-up webcam. I even did a quick test just to see if you close that laptop lid without seating the webcam beforehand, it's not going to screw up your screen. Also, Huawei taking a step back, listening to some of the criticisms of their last MateBook launch, uh, replacing a full-sized legacy USB port in addition to USB-C and Thunderbolt. Legacy USB is a nice touch, but I'm also really happy to see Huawei continue to include that really beefy Mate dock. It's a nice touch, that being in the box, a huge dongle you won't have to purchase after you already buy a premium laptop. Being the audio geek that I am, the speaker sounded pretty good for the room that we got to demo the laptop in. It's not a scientific test by any stretch, but it, I thought it was a good representation of trying to approximate that surround sound experience while using a really lean portable PC. And Huawei is betting big on this premium space, especially trying to put the pressure on the nicer end of the laptop market. The Core i7 paired with a 512 gigabyte solid state drive is is their crown jewel set to disrupt other offerings from premium manufacturers and Huawei really trying to be price competitive in this space too. Sexy design, no compromises, travel gear with powerful internals at 
ever more competitive prices. I'll of course have some links below this video where you can find more information on these brand spanking new media pads and matebooks. As always, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoy the content I produce, please consider supporting production on this channel by checking out my Patreon campaign. You'll get early access to videos, production diaries, behind the scenes. It's where I'm hosting my next round of contests, and there are going to be a bunch of other fun perks. You know where you can find me around the web is at some gadget guy, and I will catch you on the next video.